All right, let's take a look at um, just a couple potential reasons why you could get some red creep or inconsistent velocities or things like that um, with the, the MACDUB GT2. Um, really, the main thing we're going to look at here is the actual reg and taking out that reg body so you can surface that and troubleshoot some issues if you have them. Um, so I've already taken this panel off, but that's really your first step is taking that panel off the side, folding it over, um, and then grabbing this big guy here uh, and removing the actual rig body. Now, we don't want to take out the velocity adjuster, the piece in the middle, uh, the brass piece. Um, we want to take out that main stainless steel piece. So, got that taken out. Um, and then we're going to want to disassemble that too. Uh, again, this is more if you're troubleshooting something. This isn't like everyday maintenance. Um, but there's little kind of slits milled into this for you to grab it with a wrench. Um, and then you're just going to turn it. It's going to open up. And it's on there pretty good out of the factory. Um, unscrew that and that's how you're going to get access to your reg seat um, and then also the reg pistons o-ring the ceiling o-ring on the inside of this too while you got it open you might as well clean it out um, one of the main reasons or a big reason as to why a rig could creep or be inconsistent is if that reg seat is dirty or it's got like a slit in it from some debris or something like that um, easy fix. Uh, MacDev actually has a pretty cool little thing built into this um, housing where you just take a little <laughs> Allen key in here and it goes pop and it pops the uh, rig seat out. So really easy to replace if needed. Um, but a lot of times you can actually just take it and whoosh, flip it over uh, and that solves the problem there. Um, but also you want to take a, a look at your reg piston. Now here is something that you're going to want to be very, very careful uh, about. Don't get in a hurry, grab some needle nose pliers and grab this sucker um, and yank it out because you're going to damage that reg piston and that's gonna make for a bad day. Um, you're gonna need a new reg piston more than likely. Um, and so we gotta be really careful with that. The way that I generally do it is with this kind of modified little chopstick I have um, and it gently fits in there, pulls it out. So we're not at any risk of scratching the aluminum um, and then don't have to worry about that. And so when it's all together, um, this is gonna look like this, right? Fairly simple, uh, pretty normal kind of reg um, construction. There's nothing crazy about this. Uh, but another thing that you're gonna wanna check um, is this O-ring here and then this also sealing a ring on the inside. Um, <clears throat> just to make sure that they're they're good and clean, there's no debris on them, they're lubricated, etc. And actually that's how you're gonna maintain this. I think it's 40,000 shots is what MacDev recommends. Taking this out, lubricating everything on here, cleaning it all off, etc., uh, and making sure it's good to go. Um, but because it is such a simple design, you're rarely gonna have issues with this particular regulator design. So anyways, super straightforward, um, pretty easy to disassemble and get to and take out. Um, just a few things, like I said, to note, to be careful of. Um, but if you do that, everything should be a breeze for you and you should be able to assemble it and get it back working condition. No problem.